Hello and welcome to the channel. So uh, this is off the back of uh, the MIG like TIG video where I was asked to do a video of that technique. This is something similar. Um, there was a comment left asking if I could do a video on removing the dent and stuff like that. So I'd like to incorporate this sort of video. This is a mini wing that um, I've smacked in and created a dent. Um, and I'm just going to show you how to remove it. But what I want to incorporate into the video, instead of just using a hammer and dolly, I really like using the slappers. But I've got all different sizes, shapes, different uses. So I'm going to show you how to lift up that area and dress that area out using the slappers. Um, it's a great technique. I use them all the time at work when I'm panelling the bodies. It's like my go-to thing. Uh, I use them just as much as the hammer, basically, and uh, a very underrated tool if you don't really sort of know how to use it properly. But um, again, they're really easy to make. I do make them and sell them, so if you're interested, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you a few techniques like uh, on dolly, off dolly, and just the, the whole action of it. And hopefully you learn something from the video as I go along. Okay, let's assess the situation. You've got an impact on the front wing. We've got access to it through the headlight. So what we need to do, instead of smacking holy hell out of this wing, we just want to use something of a similar profile. So instead of a hammer, I'm actually going to use this dolly just to sort of smack the back of this and lift this area out as much as I can. But what I don't want to do is hit it hard where it stretches the metal again because from that impact there, it's already been stretched. And what we don't want to do is keep stretching that area because that metal has nowhere to go. And that will cause us problems later on uh, down the line when we're trying to blend it in. Because if we keep stretching that metal, it's just going to cause a bulge. So we've got to be very careful in how we approach this. So just nice and steady initially to start off with. And then that will just help us when we try blending uh, all the creases out and uh, and so forth. So I'll, I'll start that. Right, so I've knocked that piece out, um, you know, 30 seconds worth of just uh, smacking that out. Now, stop every now and again and assess the situation. You know, you don't want to go too far. Um, so a handy tool is just getting a rule, you know, and laying it along the profile of the, of the wing. And then you can look down and you can see where that area needs bringing up or dressing down. A simple straight edge is a very underrated uh, piece of equipment. It tells you a lot by just uh, laying it along the, the profile, the shape of the wing. You can see your low areas, and uh, if you've got one, use it, because it will help so much. So I know I've got a bit more work to do there, but I don't want to bring it up too much further, because I'll do the rest with the, the hammer and dolly, and bring those areas out by using this technique. Right, okay, I'm happy with that now. So I know I've got a few high areas. What I'm gonna do, Mark a pen. Let's go over the whole area. I think that's about knackered, that pen. <laughs> I'll have to find another one. Just an old file. Nothing too sharp. We don't want to be taking away lots of material. We just want to scuff up the top. So now we've got a nice visual aid there. We've got all these high spots here. So just check them with the straight edge. Okay, they fall into my profile and not too high. So what I want to do is start bringing these low areas 
out to meet these highs before we then start blending it all back out. Right then, on to the next process. So I've selected this toe dolly and uh, for that reason, um, it's got a nice profile, uh, very similar to the front of this wing. When I'm gonna be using the slapper, uh, I'm gonna be aiming for the, the middle of this area here. And when the two connect, um, it'll make a, a high pitch sound. Uh, when I'm off the dolly, um, it'll make a, a deeper sound. So that's how you know if you're on dolly, off dolly. Um, and then it's a bit of hand-eye coordination. You, you kind of know where one is at uh, any given point. So I've got the slapper. Uh, we call these uh, slappers, uh, other people call them flippers or spoons, but everywhere I've worked, it's always been the slapper. So uh, I suppose that's because it is literally a slap in motion on a material. Uh, again, there's uh, many methods or ways to do this, but I'm gonna work this middle area first. So I'm gonna put the dolly with a bit of pressure behind, and I want to hit that area. And when I know I'm on it, it's gonna make the right sound. And when I hit it, what's gonna happen when I'm on dolly and hit it hard enough, it's gonna then stretch that material and draw that material out. And that's what I want. So these low areas, when I'm on dolly, it's gonna lift that area out and then it'll bring it up to this area here. And if I've got an area that's high, that's when I want to be off dolly. So if you ever hear people saying on dolly, off dolly, uh, that's the reasoning for it. So I'm going to start with this area here. I'm going to move it around the back and then uh, just follow it with the slapper and then hopefully just bring this area out. So I don't know if you can see it there, but the technique that I'm using is a downwards action. So I'm not using it like a hammer, even though these are basically long faced hammers. What I'm doing is striking down and flicking off, exaggerated like that. So I'm not hitting it like a blow. Um, I'm literally glancing the face of the metal to bring it out. You know, that is a technique. Uh, which we will use later on in the process. But for this moment, I just want to strike the panel down and then that'll bring it out quite quickly. Okay, so that's a good effort there. <laughs> it's brought out quite a bit. So I found myself a new marker pen um, and just going to Go over that area. I've been working. And then when I go over the top of the file, hopefully I should then have more high areas. So yeah, it's brought this area up here. So again, I just wanna bring this crease out. It's quite a deep crease, so it's gonna take a bit of work. Again, I've got to be careful that I don't stretch it too much because that's a, a fairly deep crease, so it's already stretched that material. So I've got to be quite sensitive on how I approach this. So there's uh, a lot of high pitched impacts there. Already that feels great. Just check it with my rule. Actually, that's quite good. I'll bring the camera over so you can see that. Switch into the heel dolly. Now I just want to relieve the tension in some of these deeper creases to allow that to pop up a bit easier. Okay, so upon checking it, it's a little bit high here. So now this requires uh, off dolly technique. So we're still going to apply pressure with a dolly from the back and then we're going to hit 
that area um, down we're going to have the dolly slightly offset because we don't want it directly underneath because that's going to cause a stretching or a lifting process we want the reverse we want this material to go down so we're still going to apply uh, the, the dolly on the back but like I said just slightly off so I'm going to go for the heel dolly and then a slightly lighter file uh, slapper made out of an old file I'm just going to apply there so my dolly is here and I'm just going to hit this area here so we don't want to hit it too hard and it sinks right in we just want to gradually just tap it down you hear that it's quite a deeper sound than the rest of uh, all of this area that I've been working a few light taps where is my straight edge Should just get that Okay, yeah, so I just want to come down a bit more. Again, that's just a very light little flick. And uh, the thing is with this process, you've got to keep checking. So it's not gonna happen all of a sudden. You're gonna to have to keep going back and re reworking them areas. So this isn't exactly gonna be a very exciting video because I'm just gonna to have to keep repeating them processes. I'm not gonna go show you like the whole process. It's, just, it's probably gonna take me about half hour to do and you'll be pretty bored by then if you're not already. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna carry on working that area using the methods that I've shown you. And then as I get towards the end where I'm just gonna sort of blend it out to the rest, then uh, I'll join you back into the video then, but uh, I'll just carry on with this area. Bit of a high there. Right, so this is lifting up quite nicely. You can feel it all the way through there. It's uh, quite quite smooth now, um, so just a little bit of a low there I can actually feel. But um, as you can see, I've got these highlighted areas um, where the file hasn't touched. And what I'm going to do with that is just use uh, a little dolly like that. And again, I'm just going to use the very or aim for the very top of that dolly. It's going to be a little bit more precise now. Um, and with the slapper, I'm just going to tap that particular area. I don't want to be slapping around there. I want to be quite precise with my blows now and just move this into the right areas and just tap on that area just to bring it up. just tapping it down and using it like a hammer now process until you're happy with it a lot of people would be I know you can see these areas here but actually to touch it's very very minimal but I'm gonna carry on working this area and get this as, as good as I can get it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it but a lot of people would say that I do and with a very light skim you get rid of that um, but like I said I'm just gonna carry on working these areas now
Okay, so I'm literally just going to rub over with a 120. Hopefully that will show me anything that I've, I've missed and then I can uh, put right. So. So yeah, just a couple of little lows. In all fairness, I can't even feel that. So, in the grand scheme of things, just a pretty nice finish. I will just get these up just for my OCD. Um, but that is pretty much the cleaning up process. A little bit of scotch here. You just want to finish it off like this. So these lines here are where I smacked it in with, the, uh, with a bit of bar that I had. So these have been the scores, but again, you can't feel them, but they've marked the metal. But yeah, I just dress this area up here and then I'm done. Okay, so that is the wing all done. Um, and hopefully you've learned something in this uh, video about on dolly, off dolly, and the use, uh, uses of the slappers and that. Absolutely love them. Like I said, I do make them if you're interested. Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, I do have a PayPal link, so please go over and help, help me out um, on that. Uh, well, it's Instagram, Metal Shaper Tom on Instagram. I'm really growing that. I've got some exciting projects on there, like a real nice Bugatti that I'm doing at the moment. And yeah, that is pretty much it uh, for this video. So thanks for watching. And if you have a suggestion for another video, please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you all. And that is it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.